death was not an option because I had to protect my daughter. But I did think I was going to die. I thought this is, this, you know, that's probably going to be it. The falls could have easily killed me. Don't just fall and are okay with that. That didn't bother me whatsoever, but the animal itself, I thought that was going to kill me. It was going to take me out, and I didn't want that to happen because, not for me, but I needed to be there for Jenna. August 25th, 2005, I was in Glacier National Park on my honeymoon with my wife, Kathy. Our hope for that day was to uh, just go for a, a beautiful hike in the mountains. We were big fans of Glacier National Park. I've been there several times. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been on Earth. The mountains of Glacier um, just feel like home to me. We had been hiking in Glacier at that point for about six years and uh, had never been to Grinnell Glacier, so we were excited. And for whatever reason, we decided to get up and hike really early. Starting off just kind of slow pace, and since it's a new trail, we were, you know, taking in the scenery around us. All of a sudden, I thought I heard a scream. What was that? Eagle or something. I don't know. So we kind of, you know, thought about it for a minute and then just went about our hike like, like normal. Then we heard another scream. That's not an eagle. Go, go, I'll catch up. It was very frantic. It was, it was loud. It was very intense. It got louder and louder. Uh, and you could just hear more and more desperation. I have never heard screams like that before or since. Where are you? Help! It was a clear call for help me. I looked at Jim and I said, all right, we need to do something. You know, somebody's obviously hurt. I just started running up the mountain towards the voice. Help! Help! She just kept calling, you know, help me, help me. And I kept running and I kept saying, you know, I'm coming, I'm coming, where are you? I didn't know where to look. I didn't. I didn't know what to do other than just follow her voice. I came around a corner um, to where the voice should have been. Hello? Help! It was unnerving. That I think it went on for about 15 minutes running up the mountain trying to find her. Hello? Where are you? I looked around and there was, there was no one. Um, there was no one there. There was no sign of anybody there. There was nothing on the trail, no scuff marks, nothing. Yeah. I'm down here! I'm here! And uh, I realized it was like, she's over the mountain, she's over the edge of the mountain, and this is not good. I'm here, are you okay? I'm bleeding from my mouth a little bit. My name is Kathy, what's yours? Jenna! Okay, Jenna, I'm gonna figure out how to get down there to help you. Where are you? I can't see anything. I'm under a bush. Okay, I'm gonna throw a rock. When you see the rock, let me know. Did you drop it? I'll try it again. I see it. You're right above me. Okay, Jenna, I'm gonna figure out how to get down there. What happened? Were you hiking? The bear. The bear got us, and it's still up there. Us? Who's with you? My dad. I don't know where my dad is. We're going to help you, Jenna, I promise. OK? I just, uh, I thought he probably fell completely off the mountain and is dead. We made the decision that I would run for help. It's a father and daughter. They got attacked by a oh, bear. I heard. How far down are they? Far. All right. One of us needs to run back and find a ranger. I'm faster. All right. I'm going to try to climb down to him then. Be careful. Me too. I just started running as fast as possible. The only way I can describe it is that there was something carrying me that day um, because I, I ran faster than I've ever run, and I don't remember taking one single step. You know, like that, your life can change. Something completely unexpected just will 
alter your life forever. Time was probably an important factor, so I decided I was gonna try and get down to them however I could. So from that point, I essentially rappelled down the side of the mountain, only instead of a rope, I was using uh, the weeds and the wildflowers that were growing you know, out of the side of the sheer rock face, just praying that they didn't give way. And um, it was a pretty swift drop off. And I thought, okay, if I slip and lose my footing, I'm probably not gonna be able to stop myself and I'm, I'm gonna perhaps keep going straight down. But I was less concerned about myself and, and really more focused on the fact that somebody was in serious distress down there. And if it were me, I would want someone to try and come help me in whatever way possible. I heard rustling and for like a split second, I thought it was the bear coming back, but it was the, the guy coming to see us. Jenna, hi. I'm, uh, I'm Jim. I, uh, Kathy's run down the trail to, uh, to get a ranger. Help us on the way. I'm so sorry. Uh, for what? I immediately apologized because um, I thought I probably looked bloody. <laughs> I knew that my mouth was kind of flapping open. I could tell it was, it was sliced all the way through. Um, and I didn't know really what else I looked like, but I felt bad that he would have to <laughs> We'd have to ruin his day. It was also very windy where we were. It was very chilly. We're on an exposed rock face, so given the the, the temperature and um, you know how windy it was, I think I thought she needed some sort of warmer clothing. I was worried she was going to shock. I don't know if my dad's okay. What 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 what, what happened? Uh, we ran into a bear and her cubs, and we fell trying to get away. You're, uh, you're out here with your dad? Yeah, we're on a hiking trip before I go off to college. Her lip was basically just hanging off. Her ankle was pointed in sort of a strange direction. She said, well, I want to study dance. And I remember at that point looking down at her ankle and just thinking to myself, I don't think that's likely at this point. Uh, your ankle doesn't look like uh, that's going to be make it possible for you. But I, I, I didn't say that. I just, I just kind of nodded and I tried not to uh, upset her. Do you, uh, do you know where your dad is? Dad! Are you there? Dad! What, 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 what's your dad's name? Johan, and I haven't heard from him in a while. Johan! Okay, all right, hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try and find your dad. <laughs> I told him my dad was over, you know, to the side. And so he went to see my dad. At one point, Jenna yells, someone's here. I said, oh, good, someone. So now I kind of look up, and it was probably just my left eye looking up to the, to the right of me at that point. And I basically see a big guy sliding down the bushes. Having seen the landscape afterwards, I'm surprised how he did that, because that was, I mean, he risked his own life base to get to me on the ledge. Hey! Are you there? Can you hear me? I, I looked down and um, immediately saw just blood everywhere. I saw Johan for the first time. To this day, I've never seen anything quite so, uh, you know, gruesome. Are you OK? I don't think I've ever been that close to someone who was that badly injured um, or that close to someone who I didn't know if he would still be alive in an hour.